Hey guys. So long time no see. Uh, familiar background though. Even though I am miles and miles and miles away from where I was when I took the last video for this uh, channel. So as you can see, I am no longer in Florida. I am now actually living in Pennsylvania with my family. Um, long story short, my ex-husband and I, we got a divorce and uh, after some peculiar events in Florida, I decided to move back home. Initially I wasn't going to, but I did. So here I am. I have let the Jazzy Strong page kind of go by the wayside just because it's been a very crazy year for me. Um, as you can see, I'm still hospital hopping as I do, um, but honestly, I've been so sick since I moved here that I really haven't had time to give the page, the channel, the blog, the attention that it deserves. Sure, I could have been making videos this whole time, little update snippets here and there that, you know, would have satisfied at least part of my viewers. However, I know the content that you guys are looking for is not what I could provide over the summer and, um, you know, over the spring. So I moved to Pennsylvania in March of 2020. Um, I believe it was like March 28th or something. And I've been here for over a year now. Um, some of the craziest things that have happened uh, in April of 2020, I ended up in the hospital and I got C. diff. I had a perforated colon and ended up having to get an, an ileostomy. Um, I had an ileostomy until July of 2020 and it was reversed. Uh, there were a lot of complications with that. I ended up having to go into emergency surgery. Um, I had some crazy looking uh, scars left over from the surgery. Um, after that, I started to actually heal pretty well. Um, I put on a good amount of weight. I got really muscular. I was ripped. I had, you know, so much going on. I started studying to become a personal trainer for the NASM uh, CPT course. I was, you know, at the gym every single day. I started going to school again, which I am still doing. I'm finishing up a degree that I began in 2011 and had to abandon in 2013 due to health. Um, I'm not getting any better. My conditions aren't really getting any better. So I thought it's time to finish that degree, you know, even though it may not be the way I want to, I'm doing it from a distance, but that is partially due to COVID and partially due to necessity. And I do feel confident that I will finish that degree. Um, I did get accepted into the University of Southern Florida for a master's in exercise physiology or kinesiology. Um, I have to choose, it doesn't really matter. However, I think I'm going to forego it and see if I can reapply somewhere up here for a master's of fine arts. Um, I have come to the conclusion that I do want to write for the rest of my life. I want to write and travel and blog and vlog and do all those fun things. Um, whilst still maintaining the Jazzy Strong Army YouTube channel by producing days in the life, uh, different workout videos and whatnot. So the direction of this channel is going to take a mild turn towards my experiences and my life, as well as maintaining the uh, how-to aspect and the uh, day in the life aspect. However, the channel is ultimately in my namesake and I have been doing update videos on my personal Facebook page that I honestly think could be beneficial for the Jazzy Strong page. So this year it is my personal goal to launch the Jazzy Strong Foundation which is going to be a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to providing monetary grants to individuals in what I call the lost demographic. And the lost demographic are individuals who have obtained a disability later in life who were not born with a disability, 
were not disabled as, um, as a child, are not military veterans, and are not already receiving grants from, say, uh, like their job. So the demographic that I'm talking about is the demographic that I fell into. I never had the opportunity to join the military, which is something I actually wanted to do um, because I got sick before I had an opportunity to try. I also was not disabled as a child, so I never got any of the grants or relief that you get if you do obtain a disability as a child or you were born with a disability. I am in the demographic that is kind of lost and we don't have a lot of grants out there for people like me, save for like the Challenged Athletes Foundation, the Kelly, uh, is it Bush or Brush Foundation? Um, I will figure that out and pop it up here. Um, there's, you know, the Reed Foundation, things like that. So there are some out there for us, but they're very specific in what they offer. Some of them do not consider uh, disabilities like transverse myelitis is an applicable uh, disability for their grant. However, it is a disability, it is a very valid disability. I have it myself and it needs more exposure. And I believe that individuals affected with transverse myelitis also need the same opportunities presented to these other demographics to them as well. So the Jazzy Strong Foundation is going to launch this year, my hope, as long as I can get the 501c3 um, put through and whatnot. We're going to be doing various types of fundraising. I'm going to be setting up a merchandise shop um, that's going to have like Jazzy Strong bracelets, like the rubber bracelets. Um, we're going to have like decals, pins, um, maybe clothing. We'll see. Um, I have to look into the logistics of that. I would like to host a couple of 5Ks, maybe even 10Ks, um, and possibly a half or a full marathon. Uh, what I would like to do is, by doing that, I would like to have most of the uh, proceeds to the races, um, from the races, go to the Jazzy Strong Foundation with a small amount of the profits um, being put into, you know, organizing the race and as well as um, medals and t-shirts for uh, the meddling winners and for most of the participants. Um, so that's uh, something that I'm interested in. I might be interested in doing like a fitness competition or um, some other stuff. Like I don't want it all to be about uh, fitness and stuff because, you know, there are some people out here who, who can't do that. So, you know, we can also do just regular straight donations. Um, but that's something I would like to do. I uh, would also like to do a couple of series on the page um, or on the channel. Uh, you know, we have some of the how-tos, we have some of the vlogs. Um, I would like to do a couple of series like adaptive yoga and so on and so forth. I am by no means a professional videographer, but I do all of my photography, all of my videography, all of the editing, everything. I do it all myself. So I know it's not professional, but I'm trying and hopefully we can reach a point where I get enough skill where things are going to start looking a little bit better. Um, Aside from that, guys, again, I apologize for my long hiatus. I moved into an area where uploading videos just really, I can't, <laughs> I don't have the internet for it. Um, however, we're going to change that. Uh, I've made it so that I can take the videos anywhere and then I will go somewhere to upload the videos. Um, I really appreciate those of you who decide to return to the channel. I mean, by some grace, my follower count, my subscriber count went from what used to be 500 to 700 and, you know, I'm very grateful for the people who have joined, you know, even though my videos are a year old. Um, I mean, some of my videos, one of my videos has 17,000 views, that's, that's crazy, I haven't even been on for a year, that, that's awesome though. So, uh, this video is to kind of tell you guys where I'm at, where we're going. Um, you'll also see in the coming days, uh, several other videos be uploaded to the page. I'm going to have some of my gym stuff from before that I had taken over the summer, a couple of update videos and whatnot. Um, but aside from that, uh, just please keep a lookout. Things are definitely going to be happening here at the Jazzy Strong Army page. Um, 
I'm definitely looking forward to creating more content for everyone and uh, talking a little bit more about what happened and all kinds of stuff and where I'm going and everything. So thank you again for watching and as always, stay strong.